Hey there, everybody. This is Raphael Love from Social Media Mentors, and I'm here today with you to help resolve an issue that I've been coming across a lot lately and I've been asked to help people with. And uh, let me just pull up the screen so I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. Let's say, for example, you're on the Internet and you download a application that didn't necessarily come from the App Store and you try to open it. You double click on it and you get this lovely message, which is the application cannot be open because it's from an unidentified developer. Um, basically, it's indicating that the security settings that are now in the Mac OS will not allow this application to open by default. So you have to make some settings changes to make that possible. And how you do that, you basically open up your preferences. And once you open up your system preferences, you are going to go into security and privacy. And once you're in security and privacy, let's get this out the way so we can go back to that. Uh, once you're in security and privacy, you're going to click to make changes and then you're just going to log in, which I'm doing on another screen. Alrighty. Then once you log in, it'll open up your lock here and then you have options. You have uh, allow applications, only from the Mac App Store, Mac App Store, and uh, other identified developers or anywhere. The There are some instructions out there on the internet that'll tell you to click anywhere and then just go on from there. The problem with that is, is there's a lot of apps out there that if you just open up your complete system to using anywhere, um, any kind of app you download, it'll, it'll work and run. And if you have a problem or if it's some kind of malware or something that you really aren't sure, it could still run anyway. So what you do is you click on it and it gives you options. The options basically are listed here. Basically control click the icon and then select open. And then you have the option to choose whether or not it's open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click cancel here and I'm just going to get this out the way, close that. And then I'm going to just control click the application that I want to open. Whoops. Let's try that again. Control click, it brings up the menu. And then what we're going to do is select open. And once you do that, sorry about the dual screens, it asks you, do you want to open or cancel? So in this case, I'm going to click open. The application is going to then open. And in this case, I'm using an application called ImageSmith. Um, and you just click continue. And then it goes through its installation process. And from then on, the application will open like you want it to. So basically, that is the overview for how to activate an application that gives you that wonderful error about an unidentified developer. Thank you.